Now we have these uh, big buildings with domes and resonators and uh, oh, antennas. But then in the front we have the obelisk. You know, see this obelisk? So what are obelisks? Uh, there's like fascination with obelisks. We have the, in, in the interior of these buildings, we call religious purposes, the metal floors. Although the metal was removed. And then we have like this sort of, sort of like you see on the computer motherboard circuits, you know, computer electromagnetic energy. And there's a connection, like a wire that goes to that... Um, thing in the back it looks like a mini obelisk and then the mini obelisk in the in the in, at the top has like this ball now some of these balls had liquid mercury have you seen liquid it's a very special you know mercury it's a liquid metal vibrates as you see some uh, videos with electricity and magnetism and all that stuff um so many, oh, this was a, a very old photo. I just liked it because of the whole thing about going up the stairs to the uh, super energy godly type thing. Anyway, so we have these things and you see them, these, these, these antennas, they call them antennas. And some of them had these uh, fractal energy, what do you call them? And then maybe some balls with mercury and then vibration. So is that like with the ether? And it looks like a, an antenna. The same way you see the crosses, we call them crosses, but they're not on... Um, temples and churches and cathedrals so uh this is a very rare they say, they say pre-1851 by the ancients of the ancient of the 1800s uh the two pyramids with colossal figures on top of each so if the pyramids had these colossal figures statues on top how and this is machine processed anyway uh, the thing with herodotus and the, the years uh, before christ and after christ and anno domini and stuff we don't know because we are ignorant and i am ignorant and that's it we only read the books that they give us so anyway um what if all these towers and buildings you know the famous nikola tesla tower uh the underground connections they had with the sources of water and if you read certain books and texts uh, vibes of cosmos has made a lot of uh, has explained how the water cycle works on this in this world earth very fascinating water is uh, an electricity conductor and my human body is 70 percent water Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? So, what is ether? And they say, uh, is it like was was like air is water or water is air? Because they're both the same, right? The like um, a liquid. Well, uh, that, the type of you know, you, you get the point. Anyway, the whole thing with uh, liquid mercury and metal. You know, like this looks like an antenna for. Um, capturing the ether and electromagnetic energy from you know the black sun and uh, the electromagnetic dome which is actually a sphere cosmic egg mythology and then you have liquid mercury which vibrates and then um, yeah, lots of these places were demolished and removed and the typical stuff you know the obelisk with that thing in the top uh, I might just ask the question oh, um, old photos in this case we don't have a, a ball but we have well, we do have the ball with the stuff and then we have the the antenna antenna i know i know right if you if i call these antennas everybody's you know, people are usually gonna mm, go away because um the big majority of people who are on youtube and on the internet i said the big majority okay i'm not referring to you specifically they come from the classical flat earth stuff and the classics are all about don't touch the cross uh anyway let's go for because everything is so important for the electromagnetic power now i understand more the engravings that we've seen from the 1700s and uh, the whole thing about glowing and and wireless technology and wireless electricity and i also understand more the whole thing about these photos which are from russia the big majority um look 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 the balls the metallic balls with antennas and with liquid mercury perhaps perhaps i don't know uh why do you demolish them why do you leave them in the middle of nowhere um you see there's no trees there's no green there's in the middle of nowhere w h y uh i don't know but anyway it looks fascinating and then we have this whole stuff in the united states of america um by the way this these structures underground most of the times they're built on top of um of ancient sites like ancient big huge machine processed pyramids uh, with tunnels and with lots of things underground so yeah you might just ask the question why then uh, we don't have the metallic uh, pointers any anymore anyway looks like a short-circuited motherboard and then you have the melt of the red brick, red bricks buildings and everything else this is amazing i actually added this here because it's very important now this building is new it's awesome, but it's inferior to the old world. Um, well, it's actually the one from Sofia, right? So the whole thing why with uh, magnetron and gold resonators and coils and resonators, you can pause and you can read it by yourself if you want. But the whole thing that fascinates me a lot is the fact that if these 
obelisks and then we know about the metallic floors and we know that the crosses are antennas and we know about the domes and the resonators and the magnetrons and everything else so is god electromagnetic energy then because because we say god all the time right but we know that about the black sun let's go to a photo which i um i love which is the one i like the most i think i'm gonna leave it for this one because nobody usually talks about egypt in this case speak about everything is uh, as you can see is focused on ether and electromagnetic energy and now we know uh, that fibers of cosmos explained everything about how the moon map works um and the reality of this world we know about the germans they use their ufos with electromagnetic levitation our bodies function with electricity so everything is a an enclosed electric system this world we live in so does that mean that because if you look at, at things like that it says well who created all this in the first place so if you put like the word god and god is the creator of everything okay but does does that mean that we are just batteries we are energy producer devices bio bio organic robots living in a in an enclosed electromagnetic system because the black sun is there and we now we know the big circle of earth uh, according to the maps of eyes of cosmos and everything looks like a a, a system to generate electricity infinitely and we're just part of that system so what is then god is it like just electromagnetic energy because when you speak about the soul and the spirit when we die yeah but because we're electromagnetic devices engineered and everything uh, revolves around electricity so can we call god electricity then or is there like a bio organic entity who we don't even know if it's bio organic or if it's just a light or whatever because light is electromagnetic force as well so who created all this because like if we analyze things properly everything has to do with electricity ether is electricity the whole wor old world was based on electricity uh the whole system that we live in this world that it's like the moon is the map is based on the black sun which is magnetic and the cult of the black sun is because of electricity so in the end it's all about electric magnetic forces so what is then uh, the purpose of life as you call it because people just go get people because that's the thing people don't study they don't research they just go around uh, around life uh, saying lots of blah 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 but instead of actually researching stuff and say okay now i understand the purpose of electromagnetism and everything is to do with electricity and the, the old buildings and the melted buildings and the hexagonal column basalt trees and uh, we are electricity and the whole system is electricity and to understand the the what's written in the five digital books of lives of cosmos and once you know all that it's like um, you go to the conclusion, well, maybe perhaps what we call spirit and soul is just a form of electromagnetic mag magnetic force, electromagnetic energy. And what we call the source is the actual ether that's around us, in, uh, given by the black sun magnetic uh, movement and uh, the electromagnetic dome, which is actually a sphere. That's where the cosmic egg mythology comes from. So in the end, yeah, it's true. We go to the to the source, which is electromagnetic energy. Anyway, I'm just going to stop there. You have to study and to research. It takes time alone and depressed in the corner of your room, like myself. See you next time.